Well, it can be the most unpleasant part of your morning routine, finding out your milk doesn't pass the smell test because it's spoiled, and then you don't have milk for your coffee or your Bean. cereal. Well, look at this. Researchers in China have created a tiny new gel that's being compared to a wet gummy bear. It changes color as food spoils over time, and it could revolutionize how we know our food and drinks are safe. Michael Moss is an investigative reporter for The New York Times and the author of Salt, Sugar, Fat. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, how does this smart gel work? So it's put on the outside of the package, and it's measuring ambient air temperature over time to give you more information than just the expiration date. So with milk, for example, if you're like my household, the milk comes out in the morning, it sits on the counter for an hour until I remember to put it back in the fridge. Well, that's, that's sort of drawing back on the expiration date. So you're going to find out. And the color on the gel changes temperature. The way they have it now, it sort of goes from red to green is the warning signal that, hey, you better start drinking that milk or it's going to go bad. So it never actually touches the food. Can it tell you conclusively that it's spoiled? You know, it still needs to be validated, but that's the idea, absolutely, which is to tell you, look, that's a very good chance this milk, for example, is going to be sour. Sounds like a great idea, but however, at first glance, I thought I thought, why is this really necessary? I can just actually smell the milk and tell whether it's bad or not. Well, there's that too. My first thought was, you know, 90% of the stuff in the grocery store is so loaded with salt and sugar and other preservatives, it's never going to go bad on the shelf. But yeah, you could do the smell test, but look, I mean, this will, what it does is, is tell you that you're getting close to the sour smell, so you drink it faster and so it doesn't spoil. One of the things I find interesting here is this could be applicable to medicine as well. I think that's a really important, valuable aspect of it. Again, because it's measuring temperature, things like vaccinations in Africa, but also medicine in this country. If you expose it to high temperature, you're going to limit <clears throat> the, uh, the the time value of the medicine, and that could totally. It's always very hard in the medicine cabinet to know. You know, you get those dates, expiry dates, and you just you never know whether the medicine's still good. And with the weather we're having, right? Like yeah. huge temperature fluctuations. That's. <laughs> And what this is really, I think, aimed at addressing is how much food we waste because of spoilage around yeah. the world. Yeah, which is tons of food, absolutely. And it's a growing problem, population growth, feeding people is going to be a bigger, bigger problem. There are some lower tech solutions to that too, though, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, including cooling broccoli, for example. It turns out you can, um, the way to save broccoli in your refrigerator, it's always going limp in my house, put it in a plastic bag because it breathes in there and stays moist. Right. The, is, is the food industry going to welcome this? Because they don't usually like label changes. You know, we are in the midst of a huge battle over what goes on the outside of packaging, right? There's a battle over the little tiny print fax nutrition boxes on the back. Well, the first lady just announced those changes. Exactly. Yeah. Trying to, like, improve the usefulness of those to the consumer. There's a battle of what companies put on the front of the packages. That's the biggest, that's the biggest area of concern, right? They're touting of low sugar this, low fat that, natural this. And so any Anything that goes in the package that distracts from their advertising, if you will, the product is going to raise some concern. Michael Moss, good to see you. Nice Thank to you see so much. You. Thank you.